not calling it no knockdown. No knockdown. No knockdown. I thought DeLuca stepped on the toe of his foot. Okay, maybe I missed that. Well, it happens when you have a left-hander fighting a right-hander. The feet's get entwined a lot. I know people used to say that about me. I used to step on guys' feet. Well, I was always trying to control the fight being the southpaw. A lot of shoulders get butted. DeLuca, not a whole lot of snap -up. Good little defensive move by the bazooka there. He ducked, came back and countered. Massive upper body for a man 108 pounds in DeLuca. Yes. Got the physique of a junior middleweight. Yeah, he's well built. Big punches, this fight looks to go the distance though. Although Diaz, this is not the Jose Manuel Diaz. Here in round three as these junior flyweights are scheduled to go. Ten and DeLuca backs Diaz on the ropes and wails away. Neither fighter respecting the other man's power. Final seconds of round three. Jose Manuel Diaz, 41 professional fights under his belt. Turned pro way back in 1982. Perhaps, as I said at the outset of this fight, inconsistency is the trademark of this young man who, I tell you, he's fought just about anybody and everybody he could get a fight with in that weight class, but as we have documented already, it is very difficult to find people to fight when you're a junior flyweight. Well, oh, junior flyweight, flyweight, anything under 115 pounds here in the States, you have a hard time getting opponents. A lot of times, the fighters of name here in the States, like uh, Akeem Antifashi from, from Las Vegas, they have to import opponents. They bring them in from the Orient. I mean, it costs a lot to bring these guys in. Tonight, Pro Box went south of the border and came up with Jose Manuel Diaz, good fighter. Not fighting up to his capability so far, but He's a 10-round fighter. He's been 10 rounds many times, 12 a couple times. Oh, big cut on the right eye of Tony DeLuca. I was just looking at that. DeLuca with a cut open. And don't forget, it was just two months ago when the fight was stopped yep. in London. And Duke McKenzie, the champion, flyweight champion of the world, beat Tony DeLuca on that cut. For our fans out there, the flyweight is 112 pounds. Now that cut that DeLuca sustained at the hands of McKenzie happened just nine weeks ago. And boy, now that yeah, cut over his bad. right eyebrow is opening up. Yep. That was caused by a butt. Tony DeLuca sensing he's in trouble, going after Diaz. Diaz trying to push that right in. He isn't snapping that right in. There goes Diaz landing. The doctor should take a look at that cut, Bill. Uh, it is probably an inch, maybe an inch and a half. It runs the entire length of DeLuca's right eyebrow. Yeah. That's, the type of, that's the type of cut that, well, it looks like he, maybe he's cut under the eye now, too. No, that's coming down from the top, Phil? Yeah, it is. It's dripping down below the eye. DeLuca, DeLuca falling. Don't be surprised if this fight stops at the corner here. There's a very good chance this fight will be stopped between rounds three and four. Correction, four and five. There we go. Real bad cut. Gerardo Ferret screaming at Jose Manuel Diaz, imploring, why didn't you take the initiative there? The man's cut. What are you doing? And now, Frank Rustich, the referee, has asked the ring physician to come in the ring and to check the cut. Doesn't look like he's taking that close of a look at it. Now DeLuca's handlers. They're basically shielding the, uh, the referee, the doctor, and not letting him take a look at that. Now the referee wants to see it. Move out of the way, the ref's saying. Now I'm still not certain where, there's the cut right there in his right eye. 
Tony. There's a good look at it. It is wide open. And I don't know if that's good for these, the safety of the fighter. I mean, he's that is one of the biggest cuts I have seen yeah. in a long time. We're talking about a 108-pound man. Oh, man. Doesn't need to be any more graphic than what you can see at home right well, there. You know, I, I disagree with Todd at the officials. They're, they feel that they're being victimized by uh, some hometown officials here. Tony DeLuca. The flyweight prospect out of San Diego, California in the silver trunks with bazooka and red letters on the right side. He's the southpaw. He's also the one with a one-inch cut. Now he's taking shots. Took a good little right hand there. Now his corner did an excellent job of uh, stopping the blood from trickling out of that inch, inch and a half long gash. Oh, what a left Big hand! Fight. Oh, That's what it. a left hand! He's out. He isn't getting up. He stood up with Gia, stood out his mouthpiece. Tony Bazooka DeLuca, I can't believe He's it. Out. He's I out. can't believe it. Without question, DeLuca reached down deep, came across to the left cross, knocked his man out. 44 seconds of round five. An unbelievable finish here in round five. Diaz caught a short, stiff left hook and went down and out. And that was the prayer Tony Mazuka DeLuca was looking for. He was on the verge of losing this fight, Phil. I don't think he could have lasted another five rounds with an eye bleeding like that. Gerardo Ferret disgusted with his fighter's performance here. Well, again, go back and remember, DeLuca had about an extra minute in that round. Yep. And that uh, break between rounds four and five. Yeah, um, I think the California rules need to be looked into as far as that's concerned. I mean... Let's look at this knockout punch here in slow motion. It'll be the left cross coming from the southpaw DeLuca on the right-hand side of the screen. Bang. Oh. Wow. Big punch. Right to the temple. Diaz never saw it coming. And in 44 seconds of round five, the end came, and Tony DeLuca, with an inch and a half long gash over that right eye, notches his 15th win. Let's go to Fred Lewis and find out when the end officially came. Ladies and gentlemen, the time of the knockout, 44 seconds, round number five. The winner, the man throwing the bubble gum, Tony Bazooka DeLuca. We're coming back to talk to the bazooka in a moment. Thank you very much. What a stunning ending. Tony Bazooka DeLuca. Fifth round knockout. And Diaz never saw it coming. Pedro's got him. Tony Bazooka DeLuca, I'll have to admit it, that's one of the nastiest cuts I've seen in 18 years of boxing. Yeah, well, you know, I was doing pretty good. I just got cut a couple months ago, and maybe it was a little too early. God, he headbutted me, and that's how... I hate that. I've never fought in anger before. I've always been very controlled. But when that happened, I, um, I, did, I, I got pretty angry. I got real upset. And... Uh, I was mad. You looked tight early. You caught a couple right-hand leads from the uh, Orthodox fighter. You're the southpaw in the first round. Let's talk about that. Were you cold? Very cold. There was a knockout right before. I just got my gloves while the guy was standing in the ring. So I got my gloves and had to warm up real quick. And, and I wasn't warm. And uh, Good enough. Let's take a look at the knockout yeah. blow. Here comes the left cross. Okay. Let's see. I'm jabbing. I'm kind of angry. I'm looking at him. I'm, I'm also trying to protect my cut. So we're just kind of going after him. I'm waiting. I'm just timing. I'm waiting for him to throw a punch, and then here it comes. It's going to come real soon. 
When he throws a punch, I want to counter and throw it right onto.